Hello everyone, Linwood here, and today I am going to show you how to do the helix knot. But before we get started, for those of you who haven't seen the thrompa knot, you can click right here. Let me go ahead and move closer so you can give it a look. And turn to the side here so you can see. Back on over to this side. I took a vote on the name on this one and uh, several people seem to like the helix knot so I loved the name and decided to go with it. So let me go ahead and take this baby down and we will get started. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. Okay so I've got my tie taken down, blade on my right side, tail on my left side. I'm gonna go ahead and place my power crease in here and just so you know the tip of my blade is just above my belt line. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to the center and bring the tail end over the blade just like so around the back or back around the front just like that and we're gonna come up through the center so at this point this is what you should have take this baby and fold it in half smooth side facing inward and you're just gonna place your finger in there and wrap around this back side here. Once you've done that, you're going to insert your finger back in that loop with the other hand and just fish that tail right on through, making sure to keep it folded. This step here may take you a few tries, so uh, make sure that you, you know, make sure that you're keeping it folded and taking your time if necessary. Um, so once you've made that round, you're going to go ahead, just tighten up just a little, not too much. And bring that tail end back over to the left side. Take it and tuck it underneath the collar. So let me get it right about in the middle. Okay, from there I'm going to slide my finger just underneath this little helix shape here. And I am going to take the tail portion of my tie and feed it directly through this middle. And what it does, it helps to uh, fill the tie out some and just gonna give it a little bit of balance and it also helps to smooth out the background. So it really makes people wonder what motions you took. It looks like you did a completely different set of steps. Take the rest and tuck it behind your collar. As you guys can see, I had a lot of fabric left over. So if you're taller gentlemen, you should be good to go. Which, by the way, if you are a taller gentleman and you're looking for some really nice ties, you should check out uh, the CorvinCollection.com. And um, I'll link it in the description bar below. Um, but they have some excellent choices of ties for really all heights of gentlemen. But um, I tell the gentlemen that are taller because typically... Um, the people who do sell the longer ties, they tend to be bland and the Corvin collection, you guys should definitely check it out. It's anything but bland. All right, so this is the Helix Knot. So as you can see, it has that DNA type shape here. Um, it's smooth here, almost like you would expect a full Windsor, double Windsor to look. Um, and of course, gotta have the power crease. So give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, baby, it's free. So <laughs> please subscribe, like, share these videos with your friends. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you. Take care and God bless. You fancy now.